can you offer your clients something to help them with their bodies? Because uh, the other major thing that you can do is talk them down, take them through a breathing re relaxation, help to regulate their state. Everybody is upregulated. I've got forgiveness as a major policy in our group right now because we're all wound tighter than a wire because we want to adjust to this situation. We want to continue to interact with you. We want to continue to interact. I'm gobsmacked that my, you know, we, we worked so hard to get ourselves to here and then this thing comes along. And as I say, it's more than just the disease itself. It's what happens afterwards. So you want to think in terms of maintaining your income. You want to think in terms of serving your clients. And for those of you who can, is there something that you can offer them in the interim? Some people have done groups. So they've got a group of 10 or 12 people that they do some kind of stretching or body knowledge, body sensing. Um, it, I think you might be surprised at how many people will take you up on this, especially as they go crazy in social isolation, as I am generally. No, I'm wonderful. I got the out of doors. I have so many supportive people that are helping me out and I have the great out of doors. So, um, I would say this, wouldn't I? Because I offer education, but use this time to educate yourself. Everybody is scrambling. Everybody is shocked. So after you get yourself sort of set up in this brave new world, then the question is, what did you want to learn? This has been just an interesting time for me when lots of things have been stopped to say, oh, well, what was it that I, who did I want to catch up with? And I'm using this to catch up with them. So far it's been everybody around the world because I have heart connections all around the world and I have been calling and calling and calling people just, how are you doing? How are you doing? What's happening with you? Um, but as I settle in now, I'm picking up the books that I, you know, had every intention of reading there in the stack this high beside my bed. Um, but now I'm getting to some of them every once in a while. So who would you like to study with? This is a time when all of us, people like me, uh, other people who normally would be very busy and couldn't do that, have time to do things like that. So do educate yourself. Final piece is take this time to practice presence. This is about the same thing as my hands are itching to touch a body. When you touch people, well, when I teach in class, but when you touch people, you bring your presence to it. It's you are setting, anybody who takes up this profession is setting out as a meditation person. So um, again, that meditation has been taken away from you. So what meditation are you going to use now? Can you find a form of meditation that is different from the one that you were using in uh, the so-called normal world that we left a while ago? Um, what is your practice now? Um, because all those things that you've been practicing with other people, which tends to nourish those things. Do I keep whacking the mic? I think I do. Um, all those things that you put in other people, you now have to do with yourself. It's a little conundrum that for those of us who are therapists, we tend to put our center into the other people. Oh, I would really like to help you. I don't matter. It's you. Okay, well, <laughs> that got taken away. So what are you going to do with that energy? Can you aim it at yourself? This is not a trivial practice. This is a serious practice for you to uh, do this.